Hi everyone, it's Cindy. It's time for yoga flow on the right side. You, you can't do just one side, you have to do both. It's just 10 more minutes. We could totally do this. All right, let's get to the mat. Hey, if this is your first one, get a little warm, hit pause, and then join me. We're gonna go to the end of the mat. We're gonna stand up nice and tall. We're gonna keep those toes nice and separated, nice and spread out, nice solid on our foot. We're gonna tuck that tail under, spin those thighs towards each other, stand up tall, roll those shoulders back, take that nice deep inhale, all the way up to the top, and a big exhale. Keep those abdominals engaged this whole time, big inhale, and big exhale. We want those nice big inhales and exhales this entire 10 minutes. Here we go. And we're ready for that flow. Here we go. Take that nice, big, deep inhale. Tuck that tail. Squeeze. Reach back just slightly. And on that exhale, we're going to swan dive forward. Abs tight all the way down into that forward fold. We want to spin those thighs towards each other. You're lifting up that tailbone. Engage those hamstrings all the way down. Relax that head. Big inhale. And exhale, lifting that tail, relaxing that neck. Spinning those thighs together, reaching down, expanding that stretch. Big inhale. One more, relax into that stretch. Big, long exhale. For this inhale, we're taking those palms, smack those guys right onto those shins. Push those elbows straight on that inhale. And on that exhale, lift, lift, lift that tail. Pull those shoulders down and back, looking straight at the floor. Exhale. Reach and clap. Big inhale. Exhale, lift that tail. Pull those shoulders back, looking flat, straight flat at that ground. One more inhale here. Keep lifting that tail. Exhale back to that forward fold. Relax that head. We're going to take one inhale and exhale here. Keep lifting that tail. Keep spinning those thighs. This time we're going to reach for that mat. If you need to bend those knees to get there, by all means, we're going to reach back with that right leg this time all the way back make that nice beautiful high lunge keeping that knee right on top of that ankle or behind no here if you're here oh no good all the way back you don't have to be so low you can be up here you just got to keep that knee all the way here all right we want that weight back in that back heel we're going to take that right hand, hand or fist, right next to that foot. And we're gonna, gonna engage those abdominals and we're gonna lift that left arm and we're gonna open towards that knee, big inhale. Weight pushing back into that heel, exhale, relax into that stretch, big inhale. Weight in that heel, relax into that stretch a little deeper, one more. And release that arm all the way back down. Relax into that stretch. Take one inhale and exhale right here. We're going to move into that pyramid pose. We're going to use that left hand to help us. It's going to hold on right here onto that foot or onto that shin, wherever you feel comfortable. You want that weight pushed back into that back heel. We're going to straighten this knee into that pyramid. This hand can help us balance here. Straighten that leg, relax into that heel. This is that beautiful pyramid pose. On every exhale, you're gonna come down a little lower. Again, reaching back with that back heel. If those feet need to be closer together, by all means, Now remember from here, if you watched the left side, if this is your first side, 
We're gonna move into that triangle pose. All we need to do is take that back heel and drop it down towards the floor. This way, that weight is in the outside of that foot. All we're doing here is making sure we stay straight, that heel comes down, we're engaging those abdominals, and we're taking that right arm and we're lifting it straight up. Big inhale. You can look up at that hand or you can relax that neck, however you feel. Big inhale. That weight's all in that outside foot back there. Exhale, one more. On this exhale, we're gonna unfold that stretch all the way back through. We're gonna move into that side angle. We're going to bend this front knee. We're gonna take this arm, this little elbow guy is gonna sit right here on that leg. This arm's gonna help us stabilize. You can hold onto that leg to help with your balance or hold it wherever you need. Take a big inhale, lift and bend, placing that forearm right above that knee. You're still lifting, pushing out with that foot. And again, you're opening up, twisting, lifting. You can look up at that hand or straight forward. You can also pull this arm farther to get a bigger stretch wherever you feel comfortable. Make sure at every exhale, you're coming down, relaxing into that stretch. Again, we gotta watch that knee, right? Right on top of that ankle. One more. We're gonna transition from here into that warrior two pose. You gotta engage those abdominals right here. We're gonna take this arm. We're gonna pull him this way to help pull up our body. This hand coming up to the sky and one big inhale, engage those abs. Here we go, lifting. And here we are in that beautiful warrior two. Again, weights in the outside of that foot, solid in that front. Coming down on that exhale. Rolling those shoulders back. Increasing that stretch on that inhale, on that exhale. And from here, we're gonna move into that warrior one. Our torso moves, our hips, our legs don't go anywhere. All we do is move that torso. Big inhale towards that front knee. Keep that weight push on the outside of that back foot. Hands can always be up at chest if needed. Exhale into that stretch, it gets bigger. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. We're gonna come right back to that warrior two. We're just changing that torso again. Beautiful, inhale, and exhale. We're gonna windmill those arms back towards that front knee, back to that high lunge. At the same time, we're gonna flip up that back leg. Here we go, all the way, windmill. Put that foot up, back in. We're back to that beautiful high lunge. Big inhale and exhale. Scoot that back foot in just a little bit so you can get that left foot back all the way back onto that mat. We're nice and solid. We're gonna do that beautiful straight arm plank position, squeezing, pushing that weight into our heels. Big inhale and exhale. We're gonna squeeze those abdominals as we come down towards the floor. Big inhale and exhale down to that chaturanga. Unfold those toes, lift on that inhale, squeezing that tail, cobra, or you can go all the way to up dog here, and back to chaturanga. Curl those toes back under, pushing or peeling back to that plank position, weights in those heels, that first downward facing dog, lift that tail, push those heels down, that chest comes down, those hands push down, lifting that tail, engage those hamstrings, big inhale, Exhale, that stretch goes deeper. Lift, lift, lift. One more. Exhale. And now we're gonna walk those feet back towards those hands. You can bend those knees if you need to. Back to that beautiful 
forward fold, relax into that fold, take a big inhale, exhale, lift that tail, spin those thighs in towards each other, on the next inhale, those hands are coming back to those shins, we're going to push into that tabletop position, we're lifting that tail, big inhale, Exhale, pull those shoulders back, lift that tail, spin those thighs, big inhale, and exhale, back down the forward fold. Inhale, we're bending those knees, engage those abdominals, come all the way, on the way up. We're going to stop in that chair. Toes are off that mat, weights all in those heels. You might have a really deep chair. Everything's engaged. You might be up here, wherever that chair. It's all good. One more big inhale and exhale. And then we're going to inhale all the way back to the top. And exhale, tall mountain. We're squeezing that tail, tucking that guy under, rolling those shoulders back. Take some nice, wonderful, deep inhales and exhales. And now we've done left and right. If this was your first one, go find yoga flow left so you can do that other side. Love you guys. Hope to see you soon. Again, Cindy. Ha!